grown man business. All right, we got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. Um, all right, I want to make a correction <laughs> from one of my old videos. Uh, my last video, actually, when I was talking about uh, Kubiak. I made a mistake and said John Kubiak. His name is Gary Kubiak. Um, I don't know why I said John. Uh, I'm still mad he fired John Fox, but, you know, it is what it is. So I, I think that's probably why I said John Kubiak. But uh, his name is Gary Kubiak. And like I said before, he's um, he made history by being the first person in NBA his, uh, NFL history, first person to play, uh, go to the Super Bowl as a player, and go to the Super Bowl as a head coach for the same team, which is Denver, Denver, Denver Broncos. And, you know, we all know he was an uh, office coordinator for them, too, when he went to the Super Bowl. So I just want to add that, too. I left that out. Uh, Bronco fans, stand up, baby. Stand up. Uh, now we're going to talk about defense. Defense, baby. Uh, let's talk about Wade Phillip, man. He's uh he won defensive co uh defensive coordinator, defensive coach of the year, uh the co he's sharing it, the co uh defensive coordinator and defensive coach of the year. He's sharing it with uh, I gotta get the guy name, but yeah, he's sharing it with some other dude, but he deserve it. Uh Wade Phillip, he <laughs> he he's finally getting his props. he's finally getting his just due. Um, they they really didn't give him much respect in the NFL, man. When uh, you know he did good when he was with Buffalo, uh, they just didn't go to the Super Bowl and win when he was a def defensive coordinator. Uh, matter of fact, they lost in that uh, AFC Championship game against Tennessee and uh, and Buffalo when Tennessee went to the Super Bowl to play the Rams. So he was a defensive coordinator then, and um, <clears throat> they you know that play I still think that play was a, a full pass. And it should never been uh, a touchdown. Buffalo was that close, and also he was uh, head coach for, uh, for Dallas Cowboys for a short period of time. And you know they just they really you know he was well respected in the NFL. A lot of people didn't give him the type of uh, props that he deserved, the, the credit that he deserved. He's a great defensive coordinator, man. And this year it has really been a great example of his talent, his eye for talent, and fitting the players into his schemes. Because that was the biggest challenge this year, to fit his players into his scheme. Players like Brandon Marshall and uh, Danny Trevathan, uh, both uh, linebackers, you know, it, it was, you know, they finally got them into a, a nice scheme. And uh, I mean, we talking about Demarius, uh, Demarcus Ware, and we talk about Von Miller, they done great. You know, the biggest concern was Brandon Marshall and Danny Tavathan into those schemes. And uh, to th to, uh, uh, Danny Tavathan, he's done an excellent job, man. Uh, I want to give him a lot of credit for that uh, New England game when he uh, he pretty much held held down a uh, big Gronk. Uh, yeah, Gronkowski, man. He, he did an uh, uh, excellent job with him. Uh, they did have some guys like uh, Chris Harris Jr. to help out. And, uh, you know, he was running with uh, uh, the running back as well because they were throwing uh, passes to him. So he did an excellent job. So he they, he got them guys into a great fit into his defensive scheme. And, and it shows, man, the number one defense, number one in pass, and number one in run. So that's, that's a lot, man. So I want to give props to uh, Wade Phillips. And, again, I want to say Gary Kubiak is his name. I said John Kubiak. It was kind of funny. I said, damn, I, I would never have said that, man. Uh, but at the same time, Gary Kubiak, he had to earn my respect, man. I really wasn't convinced by him. I wasn't uh, a big fan of his when he was with uh, when he was with uh, Houston. You know, they had uh, a lot of talent. They just couldn't get over that hump, man. They couldn't beat New England. And, you know, and <clears throat> you know he had jobs over there with Baltimore, and he did a lot. He did a, he did some good. You know his work, his his body of work is excellent, man. Especially when he was with uh, when he was with uh, <clears throat> the Broncos as an offensive coordinator. So I'm glad he he made a uh, a home back in uh, Denver, and it showed that he belongs there, man. I wasn't convinced at first, but I'm getting there. 
All we got to do is win this last game, baby, the last dance. Super Bowl 50, Denver Broncos, Carolina Panthers. Grown man business.